Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming and today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of a really cool set of terrain from Wargames Terrain. Let's check it out. So I'm really excited about this. This is an MDF uh, set. It's great, great, great value. Um, these guys have ads all over social media and Facebook and stuff, so you probably have seen this around. But it's a, it's a really cool looking set of kind of industrial terrain, a lot of ramps, different level, multi-level buildings and stuff. It's very, very open um, and a lot of room to to jazz it up and, and add your own little, little flair and character. Um, so I'm excited to get it all unpacked and just kind of show you what it looks like to walk through the experience of, of opening up a box like this and uh, kind of talk about some of the cool little details that I noticed along the way. So let's point the camera at the, the terrain itself and, and get in to seeing this cool industrial set. So here's the box and I did open it up just to preview it and there you go. Look, there's no hiding nothing. It's just right there. There it is, all right there. Now this is uh, this is super, super cool. Wargames Tournaments did a great job on this set and here's the instructions. You can just see it right here. All the different uh, components and walkways and stuff. Um, and then this is a little picture of it all assembled together. So this is the instructions on how to assemble. Um, MDF terrain is really easy to assemble and it's really sturdy. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to getting this set built up. Um, we'll probably use it for uh, Necromunda, we're starting a Necromunda campaign. This will be great just to throw in with our generic 40k train. You could use it in any kind of science fiction-y, um, industrial age type of game. So maybe in like, uh, let's see, this is not a test, or even Infinity you could use this, because um, it's pretty clean. I'll probably rough it up and make it real dirty, but uh, I mean you could still use it in Infinity like that too. Um, so here we go. Looks like just, <clears throat> wow, okay. Man, it's okay. It's a lot of stuff. It's all stacked up in layers upon layers upon layers. Just yeah. Okay, there you go. So one, one big giant Ziploc bag. Ah, oh, it's, yeah, it's good and heavy. There's a lot there. Another giant Ziploc bag full of MDF stuff here, and then another gigantic <laughs> Ziploc bag full of. I mean, look, these big ones are what? Let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 30 sprues in each. That's that is a is it heavy. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get this all out. Let's lay it out individually, take some of it out of the bags and get up close shots of it all. So I finally got it all out and sorted out and it really is it, it's quite the spectacle to see all these different types of sprues out here and so I'm just going to pan around and give you guys an idea of really just how much is in this box. So there's the end of my desk there. Okay, and then let's just pan around. And these stacks are, I mean, there's different quantities in each stack, but these are the different, all the different unique sprues you get in there. And I kind of sorted them based on, yeah, just what was on each sprue. So there you go. Very, 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 very cool. Now, I'm just going to kind of leave the camera like this and we'll start on one end and, and work our way over. So there's there's so many different types of layouts of buildings and uh, and it's very cool to see. So you have like uh, a hexagon shaped um, shaped floors with uh, kind of some, some short walkways here. We have some long walkways. They're double the size of these short ones. Um, and they all have, uh, they all have to, to bring the sprue over. Um, so this would be like the long walkway, and you pop these out, and these would be the, what do you call it? The, uh, <laughs> not the armrests, the, uh, banisters? <laughs> sure, we'll go with that for now. Those are for stairs, but you get what I'm talking about. The railings, there it is. Um, you get these massive three-story tall ladders over here. Let's just pan over just a little bit more. So you get these massive three-story tall ladders that come in there. You get this cool... Uh, I mean, what kind of shape is that? I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's the shape of a drop pod. That's, that's an upside down drop pod right there. Uh, with some more half half size uh, walkways. Um, I did end up getting four of these shipping container crates as well. So each one of these sheets makes a shipping container. Um, so that's really helpful. You can have doors open or shut on that, which is really neat. Um, we got some long walkways that are just flat panels. So you see some of these walkways are like uh, this grating. 
Um, so here we'll just get over there. You can see these <clears throat> these little dots. They're laser cut, and they just kind of fall out. But they yeah, uh, they fall out really easily. So just take like take something, poke them all out. But you get all this kind of like grating walkway. <clears throat> but then you also have these flat panel walkways. Uh, which are very cool some little neat details in there like little cracks and stuff, which is awesome um, <clears throat> And then panning on over So then we have kind of like square shape uh, levels um, What else we got here we got uh, Oh, yeah, these are ladders. So these are two-story ladders. It looks like then just all the uh, the stilts to kind of hold up the different levels of the buildings a whole bunch of different uh, railings for all the walkways we got more uh, three-story ladders um, another kind of neat style hexagon shape uh, hexagon shape building or floor structure over here let me just kind of come up a little bit so you can see that one there you go so here you go another hexagon shape type thing with with more half flat panel walkways and then at the very end there let's just pull this through over we got some short one-story ladders which are very neat and then a, a nice longer sort of building so you can see it's about the size of two of the single story buildings the squares um, just a little bit longer than that so a nice rectangle shaped building which would be really awesome um, <clears throat> so great variety in this pack here uh, I'm, I'm very excited to get these built up and uh, and starting starting to get to work on our Necromunda. Um, I will also show you. I ordered some other stuff on the side as well. At least came with this box here, and so I'll show you these. These are um, these kind of like blocked off stairways. So they're not ladders, but they're stairways. So you can see here we have just like single story stairways. <coughs> so you punch these out. These are the actual steps that plug in here. And it's kind of two halves to a wall. And they kind of just go on either side of all the stairs to hold the stairs in tight. And then you got that's a one story stairwell. It's great because it, it fully blocks line of sight in this area here. So I'm excited about those. And then these ones, these ones are two story stairways. So they kind of go, they go up one story. Um, there, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be this way. So they'll go up one story this way and then they'll go turn and go up one story another way so they're kind of two-story uh, stairwells which is really cool so I'm excited to build these up as well um, and these are these are great because they'll, they'll block a little bit more line of sight on the uh, on the terrain because as it stands right now this the stilts and stuff um, they don't they don't block a lot of line of sight because you can imagine if, if I could just pull one out here let's find a... okay here we go so you can see that like that doesn't block a lot of line of sight. Even this way, there's a lot of holes in it. Um, so for if we were to actually pop that out like it's supposed to be, right? There's a lot of holes in this. So for Necromunda, right when you really want cover, um, you can get cover on this. You probably get partial cover or something from Necromunda if you're standing behind this part. But still, you're always being seen. And so the best thing really is to uh, to have these kind of stairwells to just fully block line of sight around the place as well as the shipping containers they'll really help with that so this this guys this is gonna be an awesome table once it's all together all the different elements working together to come together to make one really awesome necromunda table um, <clears throat> MDF terrain is really easy to to work with just some white glue to to stick it together um, or wood glue or whatever but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna paint it all separately so normally like I'd open it up and I'd just build it all and just, just maybe show it to you guys assembled instead of just in pieces like this. But uh, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to spray paint it all separately. So get a bunch of different rattle cans of just Rust-Oleum primer or whatever and I'll paint like the, the stilts one color, the, the gangways another color, the floors another color, and the railings another color. Um, and then uh, just flat, straight uh, spray paint it like that and then what I'll do is I'll assemble it all together and then weather it, rust it up, do some oil streaks and stains and all that kind of stuff once it's all together to kind of tie all, all those different colors together and make one really unified, sweet looking piece of terrain. Um, so there you go, that's everything. That's War Games, Tournaments, uh, MDF Industrial Terrain, as well as a couple of add-ons, the shipping containers and the stairwells. So guys, 
that that's that. Go check them out, wargamestournaments.com, uh, if you're interested in checking out some other stuff. And they got a lot of other things there as well. They have, like, orc buildings, and they have, like, cool cranes uh, to go with these industrial sets as well, which are really neat. Um, yeah, so have fun checking those out. Guys, if you like this video, we'd love if you just go down there and hit subscribe. And if you really like the video, go down there and help support us uh, do everything we do at the channel. So you can go down there for as little as a dollar a video. Uh, you can support everything we do here at the channel, like our battle reports, getting great new terrain like this. <clears throat> so you can have dynamic looking battle reports. We can do a multitude of different miniature games. And uh, and yeah, and, and continue to have fun and, and providing you guys some neat insight into the uh, miniature wargaming community. So guys, that's everything for today. We'll see you at our next encounter. Like a monkey in a rocket on his way back home. Like a